Hello everyone, today I will give you a quick update about my Lorenzer bumper situation. So I just started building my bumper, it's on the right side. Uh, it's currently empty because it doesn't have any hardware. Unfortunately, Mercedes bumpers, they have lots of uh, internal parts comparing, compared to, for example, Honda. My Honda Accord bumper is pure, is like virgin comparing to Mercedes. So Lorenzer bumper, you see with a, a cutoff for exhaust and some holes for sensors is on the right. In the middle here is my OM, I mean stock bumper, which I removed from my vehicle. I decided to keep it, to preserve it, to keep it uh, in its original shape, so I just, I don't want to touch it, to do anything with it. On the left, there is a donor bumper with parking sensors. Actually, it was a pain in the ass to find this bumper online on eBay. So, this is my donor bumper. Unfortunately, it has some defective, um, defective, uh, defective uh, chrome uh, molding parts, pieces. You probably won't see this, but there is a dent here, a small dent. You may see this. And uh, everything is dented on the chrome parts, on the chrome pieces, on the chrome trim pieces. So, uh, I won't be able to use those items. But my goal is to transfer everything else from left silver bumper to the right Lorenzer bumper. And uh, currently I'm doing some uh, sort of like preparation. Uh, on the very, very left, there is a 92, 1992 Mercedes 600 SEL bumper, rear bumper. And I'm trying, today I'm trying to uh, learn how to remove rivets. So, this rivet, I tried to uh, drill it, it went a bit off. This rivet, I removed more or less perfectly, I didn't damage anything, and this rivet is still sitting there untouched. So, I'm trying, diff I'm trying to do different uh, like methods, I'm just trying to play with it and see how can I safely remove all these rivets, because, as you can see, Unfortunately, instead of using some screws and bolts and nuts, this Mercedes stuff has two rivets on the bottom, two rivets on the front, and another four rivets on the other side. So, eight rivets. And unfortunately, they are, they are sitting inside plastic parts. I don't care about the bumper. I care about that plastic mounting bracket, which is pretty fragile. And while I was playing with this old 92 Mercedes bumper, I damaged that plastic mounting stuff. You see, it's very fragile. So removing rivets, it's only easy on YouTube where guys they just destroy that metal uh, metal sheets where the rivets are installed. I cannot afford to to destroy these things, to damage it. And uh, I have uh, to be very careful because everything is super fragile. This plastic, these mounting brackets, they are very fragile. So. It's very easy to crack it. And once it's cracked, it's done. Nobody sells them separately. I'm pretty sure I'm not able to 3D print it. I have 3D printer, but... I mean, it's... It's just... Too much for me. And uh, I don't want, as I said already, I don't want to touch my... 
original bumper just in case if I need to install it later. So first thing first thing first I have to uh, train how to properly and safely remove rivets and then I will be able to remove real ones. So this 1992 bumper is my like test ground. So I'm trying to remove these rivets, trying different approaches, different methods. And then I'll switch to the real one. Because on the real one, I don't have a room for mistakes. If I crack something, I'm done. I will have to search for another bumper or like 3D print uh, something or maybe use glue, but I really don't want to damage anything. So this is my progress. And this is my Lorenzer bumper, which came like this and it's it came empty. So I hope within the next several days uh, I will be able to learn how to remove rivets safely and then I will transfer everything from one bumper to another. Uh, this is a quick update. So I practiced a bit on these rivets and I removed uh, this chrome trim from the bumper and there are two rivets here which I have to drill and this is the chrome trim which is badly dented so I'm not able to use it at least I know the part number of this chrome trim 1408801500 three six this is rear passenger side chrome trim so this is it tomorrow i will continue and i hope i won't damage anything at least this mounting bracket looks very solid so far and i hope it will be that way so stay with me thank you